everyone, I am back again. It is Nitea, my second video, and the topic of this video is called God Do Not Bless a Mess. Um, it has been in my spirit to make this video because I've been seeing different posts on social media with women and uh, men thinking that they only bless because of the things that they have received. Um, so I had to get on here and um, correct that because um, we interpret and um, misconstrued the word blessing, and not only that, we interpret the scriptures wrong as well. Um, blessing can be associated with God protecting us and our ha and giving us the happiness. Um, he protect us. His blessing comes from Him protecting us, help guiding us um, to the pathway of His happiness and His righteousness. So hear me clearly. He guide us. He protect us. Um, down the pathway of his righteousness, not our own. We don't, we are not only blessed or we just not blessed because of I received a promotion or I got a new job or I'm in a relationship or um, I got a new car or something like that. Um, if you have to sin to do it, then it's not from God. It's not a blessing from the Lord if you have to sin to do it. Um, I was reading a post a girl put up that she's in a relationship and um She's living for, with a boyfriend, and they're not married, and she just had a baby not too long ago, and um, now he decided to propose to her. Nowhere in the Bible, that's not biblical at all. Um, first and foremost, you should have to give up your goods for him to propose to you. You shouldn't have to live with him for him to propose to you, honey. Because um, that's not love. That's counterfeit. If he say he love you, then that's counterfeit. Um, that's not unconditional love. Unconditional love comes from the Lord and not man. So, um, you're not blessed by that, just by that, or doing something out of the will of the Lord. Um, again, blessing comes from God. Um, you can't just say that you only bless because of these things coming although he do bless us with the things earthly things like cars he does bless us with it because a car is something we need to get back and forth to work we need a job um relationship are beautiful only when it is rooted and grounded in christ not in man doing it god's way um if it's not glorifying the lord then um he don't want it for your life it it, 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 it would not come to pass let me say this you can speak of things, and I know people do that. Um, they want these things, but they're doing it in their way. Um, you can speak a thing into existing, but if it's not glorifying God, then it's not going to come to pass. So with that being said, um, most of the time, you know, people do things, get the, get the things um, that they have received on their own, and then they try to attach God onto something that they went and got, God didn't tell them to go get. Sweetie, that's not a blessing, honey. That's a sin. That means um, I did this on my own. I didn't uh, clarify this with God. God wants to be in the center of everything. He wants to make every decision. Every decision that you ever made or that you're trying to make, he wants to be a part of it. Every time that you you know, think of that you want something or, or you're trying to get this or that or you should, before you enter into that relationship, you should consult with God first because he, the, he is the founder. He the one found this. He the one created that. He knows what's best for your life. That's even with your, even your purpose. Even, I don't care what it is that he called you to do. I don't care what job you're trying to get. I don't care if you're trying to get a degree. God needs to be in the center of that. He's the only one that can direct and lead in the right pathway of righteousness, not you. And then you wonder why things fall. You wonder why this relationship didn't work. You wonder why this job didn't last long. I got laid off. Honey, because you got that job on your own, something God didn't tell you to get. And then you wonder why this man don't want to act right with me. He gave you all the red flags. But remember, before all that happened, you just said, God, I'm blessed. God just blessed me with this. Sweetheart, that's a mess. He don't bless mess. That man in the first place wasn't a leader. He didn't have a prayer life. He didn't have a relationship with the Lord. But you jumped on that wagon because you trying to get things to fill your void. And it cannot fill your void. The only person who can fill your void is God. You can be in a room with a hundred people and still feel lonely. People cannot fill your void. That car can't fill your void. That job can't fill your void. Food can't fill your void. You got to continue to eat. So... 
the word blessing alone is you waking up every day. God gave you life. And that is more than anything on this earth. So don't try to attach God onto something that he didn't tell you to get in the first place. Okay, you want, you want things. You want this car. You're, you're sitting there praying, but you're not following his lead. You can't attach him onto something, and then once you received it, it falls. So does that sound like you still blessed? Some of y'all need to fix what's on in the inside of you to get it right with the Lord in order for you to get what he has blessed. Something that's going to glorify him, not you. God is not a part of things that's not glorifying him. So you have to be content with God alone and not worried about things because if you in his glory, then he's going to attach all that, all that on. First of all, are you paying tithe and offering? Do you even believe in that? Do you pay your tithe? What are you doing? Are you sowing any seeds? Are you part of any ministries? Um, do you surrender? Do you know how even how to surrender? Do you have a strong prayer life? Do you even pick up the Bible? What kind of music are you listening to? What are you? What is feeding you? What kind of? What are you watching on TV? What is feeding you? Because the very thing that's feeding you, even your friends, even the people that you hang around with, um, that it's not good for your life, then you're going to be a mess. The wrong things that you're listening to, even friends, the stuff that you're watching, that's a mess too, if it's not glorifying God. So with that being said, you're going to go out and do things out of the will of him if you're not studying his word and, and obeying him. So that's why the things that you're not supposed to be watching and your friends and all that, you're going to be, you're going to uh, find yourself in that mess. So if you trying to get something from the Lord and it has to be from him, you have to do everything he said. You have to be in his will. You cannot do things on your own. You have to if he say don't do it, don't do it. If he tell you to go, go. If he tell you to quit that job, quit. If he tell you to stay there and be content, do that. So I just wanted to get on here and clear up the blessing. Um, clear up with this. You know, you, you got it all wrong. Like, sweetheart, you, you, you got it all wrong. So I just wanted to just make sure you understand the word blessing. Honey, you, you woke up this morning. Baby girl, you are blessed. Baby boy, you are blessed. So take that into heed, and I want you to let that marinate on you. Go read your Bible, pray, and get some understanding. Now, God bless you. Bye-bye.